Welcome to Bringing the Word to You. I am your host, Pastor Tim Greco, coming out of Omaha, Nebraska. Before we get started, let's open up in prayer. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for today. We can't thank you enough, Lord. We humble ourselves before you and ask that you forgive us of our sins. Lord, we thank you for everybody who is listening, Lord. May you touch them, heal them, deliver them, and set them free. Holy Spirit, have your way. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for your ongoing love, prayer, support, and contributions to the ministry. Please write me anytime. Please send anything here to the P.O. Box, Timothy Greco Ministries, P.O. Box 1361, Bellevue, Nebraska 68005. Today, the Lord has weighed on my heart uh, the word seeking. Seeking, 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 seeking. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, knowing that everything else will be added unto you. We got to seek after the Lord, not the enemy. We got to seek after the things of God, not of the things of this world. We know that Paul talks in Romans chapter 7 and in Romans chapter 8 about that internal battle, that internal struggle um, with, with his flesh and the Holy Spirit. And we have that internal battle with the Holy Spirit that lives on the inside of us and our flesh. And so right here, I actually have in front of me the fruit of the flesh in Galatians 5, 19 to 21. Our flesh wants to adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, Envy, murder, drunkenness, revelries. And also in Romans chapter 1, in verse 29, the unrighteousness, the sexual immorality, the wickedness, the covetousness, the maliciousness, the envy, the murder, the strife, the deceit, the evil mindedness, the whisperers, the backbiters, the haters of God, the violent, the proud, the boasters. Man, there's a lot of bad things that our flesh is capable of doing. But the Holy Spirit inside, those of us who are saved, when you call upon the name of the Lord and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you get saved, you receive the Holy Spirit, and then you are able to live out the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Everything the enemy has taught us out into the world is a lie. He's a liar. What does a real man and woman look like? Loving, joyful, peaceful, long-suffering, kind, good, faithful, gentle, having self-control. And so today, on these verses of seeking, beloved, do not believe every spirit. But test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. There are many people today that have called themselves in the ministry. There are many people today preaching the word behind a pulpit telling you that one plus one is eight. Test the spirits means that everything someone says and everything someone does should line up with scripture. And if it doesn't, it's not coming from God. It's not coming from the Holy Spirit. It's coming from the enemy to kill, steal, destroy, derail, distract, discourage. Second Peter chapter three, verse nine. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Seek after the Lord. He's a God of promise. He is slow and kind and gentle and he's patient with you. Oh, he's been patient with me. He doesn't want anybody to perish. He doesn't want anybody to go to hell. But today people are denying a relationship with Jesus Christ and they are rejecting him. They don't want to be saved. They don't want to be born again. They don't want to know all the answers of life that which are right here in the living word of God. They don't want to know it. They deny it and can't figure out why their lives are the way that it is. Hebrews eleven six, 6. 
And without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Are you seeking after the Lord today? Are you searching after the Lord today? Are you reading the word? Are we praying? Are we worshiping? Are we not listening to any worldly music? I don't care what the title of the song is. If it sounds good, peaches and roses. That's the enemy's way of getting you to listen to it. Don't listen to worldly music from the enemy. The enemy is fake and we don't want nothing to do with being fake. We want to be real. We want to seek after God. Second Timothy three, 16 and 17. All skip scripture is God breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness that the man of God may be competent, equipped for every good work, that the woman of God may be contempt, equipped for every good work. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2, for people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful and unholy. Today, we're not seeking after ourselves. Today, we're not seeking after applause. Today, we are about our father's business and doing what it is he wants us to do. We're not doing these things to get the applause from people, because if you're teaching the word of God to get people's applause, you won't get any and you're not going to go very far. Colossians chapter three, verse one. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand. Get excited about going to heaven. Get excited about reading the word. Get excited about being saved. Get excited about having the Holy Spirit. Get excited about being healed, delivered, and set free. Get excited about being adopted into the body of Christ. Get excited about knowing your purpose and your identity. Those are the things that we need to be seeking after. Jeremiah 29, 13. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart. See, many people today are seeking after the drugs and the alcohol and the sexual immorality and the fornication and the pornography and the list goes on. And then Jesus is over here. They're kind of trying to look for him 20% of the time. God is not going to comfort you in those times of seeking after the things of this world and the things of the enemy. He's going to comfort you when you're surrendered to him, when you love him, when you seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. The Lord is with you. He hears you. He sees you. Stop trying to get right to get with God. Get with God to get right. And today the Lord will give you his Holy Spirit to mark you as his child, as a deposit For the things to come, test everything and hold fast to what is good. Get everybody out of your life that doesn't belong. Stop seeking friendships with people that aren't even saved, that are out there to corrupt your good character. Stop trying to hang on to people and things that God is trying to take away. God gives and God takes away. And we'll close out with this. Revelation chapter three, verse 20. Behold. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into them and eat with them and he with me. Today, the Lord is knocking at your door. He wants you to seek after him. He wants you to go to church. He wants you to read the word. He wants you to listen to Holy Spirit inspired music, not worldly music. He wants you to watch Holy Spirit filled things and not worldly things. He wants you to be around other brothers and sisters in the Lord and to be adopted into the body of Christ. All you have to do is confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you guys so much for your ongoing love, prayer, support and contributions to the ministry. I love you guys. Please write or send anything to Timothy Greco Ministries, P.O. Box 1361, Bellevue, Nebraska 68005. Please visit the website at www.timothygrecoministries.org. Ministries is I-E-S. If nobody told you they love you today, 
I love you. God loves you. Please share this video with family and friends. Remember, we have the victory. We're victorious. We just have to hang on. In Jesus' name, let's go.